Ladies and gentlemen, we have our new one featherweight world champion and the first ever male MMA world champion from China, Tankai. Congratulations. I have to ask you, how does that sound? So actually, I feel now I feel very lucky and I feel honored to be the man. Uh, right now, I feel so proud for myself and so proud for China. It seemed like your plan was to damage Tan Li's legs early on with those killer low kicks. How did you know that that plan would work? Uh, so actually, uh, kick, uh, use low kick uh, was, was not my plan, original plan. My plan, uh, my original plan uh, was using punch and to kill, to kill him. Um, but uh, during the fight, I feel Tan Li is a very tough fight. So I changed my plan, actually. At what point did you realize that the kicks were really starting to hurt him? Uh, so uh, I, uh, he, he said uh, it, it was around uh, like the second round. He changed his uh, uh, um, left, uh, he changed his left, le uh, left leg to, uh, to the front. So I feel uh, at that moment, I can, uh, I, I, can kick, uh, I can cut his leg. He stunned you a few times with his own strikes. Were you ever hurt? Were you ever in trouble? 真的话还好，就是他的拳嘛，他是突然的，虽然他的拳的幅度很大，但是挺有力量的，对我造成了不少。So actually, he his stump wasn't that hurt, but uh, uh, but his punch was very uh was very tough. So his punch actually damaged uh damaged more. Was it frustrating for you that you weren't able to finish him? Uh yeah, to be honest, I feel a little, uh, I feel a little bit frustrated because uh, before the fight, I received a lot of pressure because um, there, there are a lot of people, uh, there are a lot of Chinese people are uh, like uh, watching my fight, and uh, this, this is my first, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is my first title fight, so I feel a little bit nervous. What does this mean for you and for Chinese MMA? Does this feel like a special moment in history of the sport for China? You know, I, I, I'm, I, so, so, for, uh, so now I'm so exciting and it's so special moments. I feel so honored to be the first uh, uh, Chinese MMA um, world champion. And before, I never uh, imagined of it. Was it a concern for you when you dropped him and he was able to keep coming forward and keep taking the shots? I now 26 
Yeah, I, I believe I will keep going because now I'm only like 26 years old. Look at Tan Li, he, he, he is 36 years old. So I believe I have a long way to go with my bell. It was uh, an epic fight, a bit of a classic as far as featherweight title fights go. Did it feel like a classic when you're in there? Uh, I was why was in the cage? Actually, I can I, I I cannot feel anything. I just look at my opponent, and in all in my mind is kill uh, kill him. And this time, actually, I feel a little bit pity. I cannot finish him, but lucky I win. I win finally, and I got the bell. How much respect do you have for Tan Lee after such a war? Uh, so actually, even though before the fight, we talk a lot of shit of words, but actually I, in, inside of the cage, I respect him a lot. And, uh, and he's, I respect him that at his age, like 36 years old, he still can um, fight with me. And uh, even, even though he got a lot of punch from, uh, from me, he's still standing. And uh, uh, did uh, he didn't? Uh, he, I I cannot finish him. So I I so respect him. Are you down for the rematch? Maybe in China. So no problem at all. I'm so exciting. And who do you think is the most worthy opponent for you to defend the belt against? Uh, I want to fight with so actually I want to face a super bomb because I saw his uh, uh, social he said that he wants to uh, fight MMA so um, actually I want to uh, fight with super bomb. Um, even though in uh, mixed rules like uh, DJ and Rotan last time. Well, that's a fascinating prospect. I think we know now that any Tang Kai fight is always must-see TV. Congratulations, champ. Incredible performance. You deserve it.